Let her explain. How am I a hypocrite? What does she have to do with it? What the hell? <laughs> it's, it's her, oh, not her. Hey, 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 hey. We are back with another video. Um, the, the, this one is a little crazy. Um, Shout out to the guys over at the, the No Fugazi uh, podcast. It was a video that I seen them post, and it was they had a panel of women on the podcast, you know, and they were asking, you know, different questions in regards to dating and things like that. But there was one lady on there, and she was just uh, from the jump. She her vibe was just weird, and you know, it, some of the stuff she said was a little bit suspect, and just the way her demeanor was and things like that. It just it just came off. It just rubbed me the, the wrong way. So I feel like you know what I'm saying. Instead of me just there was a panel of women on there, and uh, there was one lady that just that just stood out amongst all the women on there, and she was just a little odd, you know, from the things that she was saying and from the the, the comments she would make, and then she at one point in time she would get into like biblical type things, and it was just odd the way she was acting. And, and at some point in time, you know, you you would think like, is it is it is she faking or is she real? But apparently, it was all legit. So let's just get right into it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Same age and where you from? Can you speak in the mic? Yes. Uh, my name uh, is Come uh, a little closer Jean. to the mic. My middle name is Patience. There you go. And basically, I'm from Southern California, born and raised. Up until I was about 15 years old, I moved to the East Coast. Okay. Um, any relationship status? Yes. Uh, I was dating somebody whose name uh, Sincere Cruz. And it was just for about four years that I was dating him, and then basically I moved government on. out there. <laughs> Sincere Cruz, dang! Oh man, watching this. <laughs> okay, been single now for about four months. Okay. Well, okay, and what do you do for a living? Yes, uh, I do a majority of things. I am a cosmetologist. Uh, I also do barber work. I do apprentice work at a tattoo shop. Do a little hip hop dancing on the side. Okay. That's about it. Um, Not, none special here. So everything seems normal, you know. She's, you know, explaining herself uh, about what she does, what her career choices is, and then, you know, everything seems normal. Then eventually, everything just take a turn for the worse. Um, Ain't so none to see. How, how long? How long have you been single for? Four months. Okay. And a fun fact about yourself. Well, uh, one basically, second. I like uh, with playing you chess. and um, Sincere Cruz, you said you've been single for four months. Who broke up with who? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, I broke up with him because he didn't want to get married. And, you know, I live in a very conservative, strict background in my family. And they just weren't going to allow me to date him for so long. And I agreed. I agreed with my parents. I think that in Proverbs, it says that we ought to listen to the instruction of a mother. And we ought to love when we uh, get disciplined by our father. So at the end of the day, I moved on. Got it. And y'all was in that relationship, you said, for like six months, right? I said four years, and then basically now I've been single, single for four, six months. Four so months. four years. So out of the four years that y'all been together, have y'all did y'all have sex? Absolutely, we did. Okay. Plenty, plenty, so plenty of time. So what Conservatives and mm -hmm. the biblical book tells you not to have sex before marriage. So if you had sex with a man and then you're expecting marriage from him, but he wouldn't marry you, wouldn't you say that? you're doing something wrong because you give out sex. If you don't give out sex, obviously we would say that guy is doing something wrong because he can't get sex from you. You don't want to have sex with him. He didn't want to marry you. So my question for you is what were you doing wrong? So basically I think I was placed more as like a sidekick, like a concubine and you know, Solomon in the scriptures, it does say that Solomon had concubines and he had 400 wives. So you're saying that um, Sincere Cruz had 400 wives? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's polygamy at the end of the day. But So, like, even, like, this stuff like that, like, she's not making any sense, you know? So how do you say that I, I, I got rid of this guy because I, want, I was following the directions of what me, what my parents say as far as, you know, basically shacking up with a man, but then turn around and say that you are okay with him having multiple women. Like, this lady is just completely delusional. And as the video keeps going on, it just it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if something's wrong with her. She was on drugs or she was high or what or she was drunk or something. But 
as you will see, she'll just make she's gonna be making like conflicting comments throughout the whole show, and it just doesn't make any sense of her angles on certain things. He had other girls. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Did he want to marry one of those other girls? Yeah, he actually did marry Ariana. Oh, so you're oh, just one yeah, of the girls. Right. You're one of the girls that didn't qualify for a ring. Correct. I was wearing a dress, so I Got didn't it. qualify. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Fair enough. Thank you for your honesty. Any other questions? No, oh, no questions. Uh, you want to go with fun fact and stuff? Oh, or? yeah. Fun fact about yourself? I like to play chess. Okay. I like one-on-one with women. I used to play with uh, my aunt, Noemi, and her and I were both women, and we were playing, and we were moving the chess pieces, and I think that a lot of people got threatened by the situation is all. Okay. okay. Let me ask, what's on your head? What is is that? Uh, oh, it's just a scarf that I wear during out the winter time is all. Dang, it's September. I don't think it's winter. It ain't no snow. <laughs> it ain't snowing. <laughs> yeah, but I do love this scarf. You know, I, I uh, paid a high price for it, you know, just like in First uh, Corinthians chapter six, verse 20, where it talks about how the Apostle Paul warned the Corinthians about be careful because Jesus paid a high price for you. So your body matters. Got Dedicate you. your body to Christ is all. Words. Got you, got you. Yeah, I think you would have had a better experience if you would have followed the book from the core, since you know a lot. If you would have dedicated your body to Christ and not let sincere Cruz clap cheeks. Meanwhile, he's having sex with other girls. You definitely would have had a better experience. Not only that, you would have been able to discern the red flags within them. Yeah, I agree you with agree you. agree with that? Kids would clean something. If I don't like the way they clean it, I have to re-clean it, and then I'm cussing well, we everybody out. like in a relationship. Oh, in a relationship? So I'm speaking about oh, your so man. Oh, it's just about him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's no, your toxic trait like in him a... to clean anything. But if he does, and I don't like the way he cleans it, I'm going to be bitching. Why, Excuse me. Why don't you just go ahead and clean it if he don't do it right? You I do, do re-clean it. I do it better. You know, even like when she just offered the girl candy, she she got like irritated because the girl said no. It's, I don't know. I do do it better. Oh, no, no man should ever put Slap. their hands on a woman. So yeah, Slap do who? Slap me, please. Oh. Uh, and started. also, oh. um, can you put your mic closer to you? Because so, we can't. Yeah, so sure. everybody can hear you. That's Yeah, whenever so you're speaking. Thank you. I think so. He denies it, but like you were definitely yeah, like making guess. out with that man and like sucking yeah, his tongue you know, down your throat. School, like you're definitely a little gay. No spikes. side conversations, ladies. No, because she's farting again. Wait, like, what happened? Silently farting next to me. You I don't even want to sit here because you keep doing this. I just don't even understand. Okay, she farted. Um, she farted again. All right. And uh, it yeah, can thing. you it really please hold your gas? What's her name? You said he was gonna Gen- go to the bathroom. Genesis. Like it's really disgusting at this point. <laughs> what the hell? Dan, camera over here. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm so Genesis, can you please hold your gas? Mm-hmm. That's what you said last time. You are can, nasty can, for this. Uh, someone, Steve, we got Pepto Bismol for her. Maybe it give her a Pepto. It smells bad. Or like, I don't even know what you ate for real. That's... Uh, Genesis, what about you? Craziest dating experience. Well, the greatest dating experience I've ever had is when uh, cr- I was crazy. inside the church. Like, like, like the bad one, like a crazy. Can you let me finish? I was inside of a Methodist church, and this nigglet took his shirt off, and basically in the middle of the temple, the temple is where I had sex. I don't think nigglet is a word you should be using, ma'am. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. All right, so you had sex with a man in church, and you claim that you are a holy woman? That's exactly what I said. The Methodist Church. By the way, Harriet Tubman was... Wait, did you write this down? Yeah, I wrote it down. Oh, is that your your little note, your little journal? Oh, absolutely, I write it down. all of your craziest things? Were you traumatized from this experience? Was I traumatized? No, I was not traumatized. I actually learned how to have peace in Christ. From that sexual experience in church? Basically, do you know what a Methodist is and a Baptist is? Do you know what a, what a Reformed Puritan is? Do you know what, what it's like? Really? You did this. Are you a Reformed Puritan? That's exactly what I am. When, when did you become <laughs> Reformed? After you had sex or before you had sex in a church? So we're dealing with intimacy, huh? Let me tell you something. Affection, that's a really, really personal issue for me. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to sit here in the middle of this stupid YouTube live 
platform okay. and expose who I'm having intimacy with. We didn't ask you to do that. Oh, you I swear. already did. Please, you just said you please. let someone clap cheeks in the church. You just said Sincere Cruz was clapping cheeks and didn't want to marry you. You've exposed all this stuff, all this stuff yourself. <laughs> what are you talking about? Historically, I'm talking about me having intimacy in the inner most holy of holies. So at the end of the day, dude, I, at this point I'm lost. I don't even know what the hell she's talking about. I, he, she, he's asking one question and she's giving the answer of some totally different. Like this lady's all over the place. Hey, what you see is Moses, and he's somehow connected to Jethro and Aaron. Okay. Wait, what? So what? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? What are you talking about? Do this, you really want to have this argument right now? It's not argument. I'm asking you a question. Go so, ahead. Go I ahead. ask you a question. You said that you are a reformed whore, meaning that you don't <laughs> have sex anymore like that. I'm asking you, when did you become a reformed whore? After or before you got your cheeks clapped in church? I'm going to say after. Uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay. So Honestly. after you got your cheeks clapped in church, is that when you started the relationship with Sincere or before? No, actually, it was before I was with S.A.U., the Sasquatch. What? Speaking it's of a Mike. Sasquatch. Hey, I don't know what that is. So you don't know who S.A.U. is? Mm. No. I know who. Suhu? I'm from Jersey. That's what we do. Suhu? That's about uh, all I know. <laughs> your turn to talk. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's your crazy story. Someone clapped cheeks in the church. A chat, we do it live. I don't know where this creature came from, but y'all getting it today. <laughs> this is not made up. This is literally. <laughs> Quite literally. She came in a studio like this with this book, with oh, that head really? on, and them glasses. This isn't planned, bro. Like, yeah, that's my no. girl. I didn't claim no. None of us claimed each. Oh, none no of one us claimed each other. No, Meaning no, no, that no. you were in a dating stage. I was just looking at like dating. I was like, um, ma'am, it's okay. You see, touched. No yeah. touching. Hey, uh, Genesis. Please smack no, me. No, no touching. No guess. Why would I? I don't hit females. Yeah, Genesis. No touching. Nobody. She's experienced something mental going on with her. Like I'm not even. It, it, it's not even funny at, at this point. But something's definitely going on with her for her to be acting the way she is. Like she's. She's getting more agitated. She's getting more irritated as the show keeps going on. Any simple question, she's flipping the words on it. She's adding biblical uh, terms to things. It's like, as this keeps going on, it's like something is bothering her. I don't know if she's, if this is a front or act that she's putting on, some actual mental issues or something, like a mental crisis or something. Cause some, this, there's no way this is normal whatsoever. And there's no way that, someone would come on this show acting the way she's acting and and, and be a hundred percent normal some like something's going on with her right now please See please don't you put your hands on the guests or we got to remove you off the podcast <laughs> every zoom you were today don't do that everyone Hallelujah. come on over to youtube um it's gonna get more crazy Close. on this podcast we got genesis she got the the cat thing on her head um it's a lot of crazy stuff going a on lot. so come on it ain't it's safe sweating. for facebook <laughs> Please come on over to YouTube. That's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. Come on over now. We're closing down the Facebook stream. I like being warm year-round, okay? I was born in California where it's warm year-round. I like my sackcloth at the end of the day. I have, I have, wait, wait, I have to say something. You told me you was born in Ecuador. No, I was born and you raised told me you in was, California. My parents are Guatemalan. You told me you an immigrant. Remember? We had this conversation. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, any conversations I had off camera, let's just keep it off camera. She says she's from Cali, so let's just let's go. just leave she's it from, at that. Let's just leave it at that. Um, thank you, detective. I didn't know, but I guess you knew something I didn't know. Anyway. All right. Uh, let's get uh, ladies. Do y'all have any questions? Fine. Okay. You have a question? No, not yet. <laughs> I mean, you can get to your question now because since we got time, I'm gonna go ahead and ask it. Go ahead. No, I don't think I should. Let's just wait. Ask the question. No, go fine, ahead and ask the question. Fine, yeah, fine, ask the question. Okay, I have a question because this wait, wait, question. wait, wait starts, real quick. Um, no us. eating on a on a podcast. Where did you get all this candy from? What the heck? She pulling out snacks out of her butt, <laughs> snacks out of that head. She pulling camera. out snacks out of everywhere. Dang, the, the snack monster. What you a cookie monster over there? <laughs> it's only it's, it was a question for her because I felt like you was like trying to hit on her. What's your name again? My name is Ellie. 
Okay, yeah, you were trying to hit on uh, Ellie. Can you just speak in the mic this way? Yeah. I feel like you was like trying to hit on Ellie. And I don't know if I heard it right. You was asking for a kiss in the hallway. I don't know if, it, if I was bugging. I could be. Like, yeah, I'd be hearing shit, you know? So, I w- I'm, what I'm trying to ask, because I did hear that you be getting your cheek slapped too. So, I want to know, are you, like, both ways? I, first of all, I want to correct you, because I told her directly, Ellie, that mm-hmm. I wanted to kiss her forehead and not her lips. Very yeah, but that's strange. that's strange. Who asked that? She just met me. They're questions at the end of the day. And I said, no. yeah, but that's why I'm asking. Like, do you go both ways? It's just like a small question. You just, yes, Are no. you bisexual? Because I used to be bisexual. Mm-hmm. Okay, but do you okay. still find women attractive? Of course, I find women attractive. There's a bunch of pussy in the room. Why wouldn't I? Lord. Okay. Now, it's do you think that's a vagina. holy thing? Do you think that being bisexual is in the Bible? Don't you understand that that's sodomy? That's of the devil and not of God? Actually, Leviticus chapter 18 talks a lot about intimacy, doesn't it? Leviticus chapter 18, it's a chapter. Okay? You're saying that sodomy is a good thing? Why don't you look it up? Leviticus 18, it says that it's the same thing as sleeping with an animal. So if you're gay and you're sleeping with an animal, God is going to what? He's going to hate it. Exactly. So this be. attraction that you have for women, you're on the podcast, I guess he's invited her here. And you're, <laughs> you're asking other women to kiss you on the forehead. Look, homosexuality <laughs> is the same and equivalent yeah. as bestiality. So why would I like that? But you you you're saying that you used to like it and you still have an attraction for women, so obviously you still desire it. You the one with the notepad with all the Bible verses, so I'm just asking you. <laughs> Seems ask, like you're contradicting yourself. Ask Remember, you this said young that lady here. You ask said her. that you are a reformed whore. Mean. Look like you still got them them desires to be whoring around and indulging in some sodomy. If it is true, hey, do what you want. It's no fugazi. Keep it funky, but don't contradict yourself, baby girl. Wait, you're so the like, hypocrite now. Got it. Let her explain. How am I a hypocrite? What does she have to do with it? It's her, not her. Hey, 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 Completely delusional, completely irrational. I don't know what was going on with this lady, but I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video. Uh, the link to the full video is going to be down in the description. And, and once again, this is from the No Fugazi podcast. They got some interesting content on there that I suggest all you guys check out. But uh, other than that, see you guys in the next video. All right.